right, back another video. I'm Regulus. I'm Chris. Got Trump on Biden. How stupid can you be? I'm saying. Yeah, we got to see. That. I'm ready to see this. Yeah. Let's 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 see what's what's going down. You know what yeah. I'm saying with Trump, what he got to say, because you know, uh, it's about to be a lot a lot of talking. I don't think Biden is gonna run again. To be honest, he better not. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna run again. If he does, I don't he think better he not get it. I know it's, that. It's, and, I, and I think it's. A lot of people ain't going to vote for him because of the state that he's in right now. I would say, yeah, it's not even on no, like, hating type stuff. I literally just think it's not the best idea. It's not. And a all. lot of people should see that. You know, yeah. it's obviously would be some people, a percentage, that's mm -hmm. going to vote for him because, yeah. you know, that that's just people what it is. People are stubborn. So. Yeah. But at the same time, and a lot of people don't even know. They don't even watch the news. They just know all Biden. I bet you it's a lot of people that don't even know Biden is acting like this. I was like, I didn't even know he was like that until, until we, we started, started watching these videos. videos. Facts. So. Let's get a video. Welcome back. The race for the White House heating up with the first GOP primary debate now just one month away. Two new Fox Business polls released this morning show former President Trump leading the field in early key voting states. In Iowa, Trump is leading Florida Governor Ron DeSantis by 30 points oh, wow. at a level of 46 percent. While in South Carolina, the 45th president holds a 34-point lead over former South Carolina governor Nikki Haley with 48 percent of the vote. President Nikki Trump Haley. criticized oh, President her. Biden's mm -hmm. leadership in an exclusive interview with me last week. Now, in part two of my sit-down with the former commander-in-chief, President Trump tells us how he took on communist China and why the CCP has become so aggressive on Joe Biden's watch. China was ripping off our country for years and years. And, you know, we're giving them favored status and we were giving them everything. We were giving them everything. Nobody ever did anything. I was the one that exposed it. And more importantly, I did something about it. And, you know, we wouldn't, if it weren't for me, they wouldn't have, you wouldn't have a steel mill in the United States right now. They were dumping steel by hundreds and hundreds. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. What they were doing to the steel industry, the aluminum industry, and I stopped it. And uh, so I certainly don't. And, and honestly, I bet you he feels bad because that's just like, that's just like if you were all, and I'm pretty sure he's not the first one, but that's yeah. just like if you were to start a YouTube channel and you can only have a YouTube channel for four years, but somebody else has to take it. You can get it back by running, but, and then say that they didn't change it completely and your views are going low. But then when you had it, your views was high. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I bet you you feel bad because, you know, he done had stuff fixed of, of his standards. And every president, I always say this, every president isn't perfect with what they do. We're all human. We're not perfect. But at the same time, it's a lot of stuff that Biden hasn't did that Trump did. And he's like, oh. Mm -hmm. When I, when I, when he, how did he mess up this? I already had this in place. I already so had yeah, this going. Yeah, he had fixed was, it. Yeah. All he had to do was keep running the play. Mm -hmm. That's it. Don't think I could have been too much tougher on China. Then when COVID came, you know, I made a great trade deal with China. They have to buy $50 billion worth of our product, right? And that was a big thing for the farmers. Was, I don't even talk about it, because once COVID came in, that superseded everything. When Biden approved Nord Stream 2, I said, what's going on here? What is going on here? But remember, he got $3.5 million from, again, the mayor of Moscow's wife. Mm -hmm. She gave him $3.5 million. But that's the least of the money they got. Yeah. Okay, look at all the money we're giving to Ukraine. And yet Ukraine was paying the Biden family a fortune. Would you stop the money to Ukraine at this point? Uh, I'd get the war settled. Uh, the money is, number one, I tell Europe, you gotta, you're about $100 billion plus short, okay? You gotta pay. Because Europe is, is smiling all the way to the bank. We're giving all of these, this, Europe is doing very little compared to the United States, and it affects them more. Look, no matter how you look at it, they're right there. We're an ocean apart. Why are we at 150 billion and they're at 20? They have to, and you know, their economy's almost exactly our size if you add it all up. You add up the countries of Europe and we have a very similar economy to, the, they have a very similar to the United States. They should be at the same number that we're at, if not more. And they get away with murder. And they did with NATO, too. You know what I did with NATO? They weren't paying, and I made them pay. Right. And took in hundreds of billions of dollars. I said, if you don't pay, we're not going to protect you. Would you be prepared to attack the economic relationship that we have with China? For example, the capital markets are wide open. 
for communist China. And unwitting investors are basically funding the expansion of the CCP. Would you put limits in place in terms of what Americans can buy? So I did something better. I did uh, tremendous tariffs. We took in hundreds of billions of dollars, tariffs and taxes. So when China, which was just dumping everything into our country, steel and everything, you know, they were dumping steel at a level that was going to put our steel mills out of business, which is what they wanted. Uh, U.S. Steel, if you go to any steel manufacturer or anybody, Maria, they're going to say Trump was the greatest president. I saved the steel industry. We were dead. Mm -hmm. And I taxed a 50 percent tax on dumping steel. And then they start sending it through other countries that we caught them. And they start sending it through Canada. Look, this is the most dangerous time in the history of our country because of weaponry. The nuclear power is so enormous. This isn't two army tanks going and shooting each other in World War I, World War II, or soldiers standing behind a bunker and shooting people. This is numbers, the likes, of, this is obliteration. And we have a man that doesn't understand what he's doing. We have a man that yesterday stood up and told the whole world that we have no ammunition. Do you know I have- And that right there, I was waiting for him to say that. Yeah, I was saying, I know he's going to say that. A man, the President of the United States to say we don't have ammunition is horrible to say. That's something that you do not like. At, like that- It's scary, cause like, what, what can it's a you lot say of next? Talk. It, exactly, it's a lot of talk with different other countries. Like, what do, what do you think this country is going to say? Yeah. The president just said they, they ain't got no ammunition. They run out of ammunition. They want it. Just embarrassing. It is. I had every ammunition building full to the brim three years ago. We've given it all away. But if you gave it all away, How it's terrible. Is this? The only that thing worse on than that is to tell the world that we have no... He has told China and these other places that are hostile that we have no ammunition. By the way, you talk about classified documents. That's worse than any document that you could give. So now these people are sitting back and... I just realized what he was talking about. That do make sense. That do make sense. He said, you're talking about classified documents. Oh, y'all got this on me. But then you're talking about somebody that's saying this yeah, on live TV. We low on ammunition. Yeah, that's... That's wild. Cross everything out. That's, that's wild. Documents. That's worse than any document that you could give. <laughs> so now these people are sitting back in China and other places that hate us, including North Korea, where I had a very good relationship with Kim Jong-un and kept our country safe. They're talking about the United States of America has no ammunition. Think of it. How stupid can somebody be to mm. say that? I just want to end with this. What is the most important issue about your policy and your leadership that you want independents to understand? Okay, ready? Uh, security for our nation, number one. And that's a very important issue for independence and for women. And we're doing very well. You look at the polls, we're way up on independence and we're way up on women. They want security, they want safety. We're going to close the border. We're going to get rid of all of the criminals that have been allowed to come into our country that are causing us tremendous problems and terrorists that are going to cause us problems for many years to come. We are going to create the greatest economy. We're going to become in energy independent. Energy prices are going to go way down. That's going to take inflation down. Hmm. I'm Steve. And just to talk about that and showing, like, yeah. you know, and it, it, a lot of people say, uh, you know, all these these people running, they they say they do something and then they, they end up not doing it and stuff like that. But when you actually had somebody that was doing it, you know, so he actually yeah, he was doing what yeah. he was said. To yeah, and I feel like Honestly. that's. That's what's that's what's important. You feel me? Is having somebody. You feel me? And I and on top of that, I feel like a lot of people, um, even if you didn't vote, didn't vote for Biden, you know, or if y'all did vote for Biden, people that has, I know a lot of y'all haven't in the comments, but um, I know y'all tired of, of of Biden. You know of what he's doing, what's going on with his family. It's it's more so of Biden got so much going on with his family and personal issues that he can't handle the United States. And that's yeah, there's what no way. Up. Exactly. I just I don't see it. Exactly. It's like you have all these personal issues going on. All you see on Fox News is something about Hunter Biden. Oh, they found something at the White. What yeah. what what are y'all doing to help the it's United States? Positive. That should be exactly. You a president? You figure out everything you could possibly yeah. do to help the United States. That's every day. That's what you sign it. That you, four years. That's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I, that's how I feel. Yeah. And of course, you had your you had your. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying everybody around you, of course, but you as a president, you that's a president, right? Yeah. Like that's that's what's up. You feel me?
Is it got to be like that? Not no Joe Biden sitting there falling on stage. I'm about to say, yeah, we times. don't ever hear anything. Yeah, him good. forgetting numbers that's on the front of the podium. Or what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Saying racist. Mar- it's a whole bunch. Like, yeah. I can go on and on. And for me to say that, for me to actually say that and say stuff that's facts and true just shows that he hasn't done nothing. I should be saying things about positive about Joe Biden. Yeah. You can't. Because I can't even think of anything that he's facts. done, really. For real. I don't know. Sad. It is. Hit the like button, subscribe. I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this reaction. Make sure y'all stay tuned. More reaction will drop. Definitely appreciate y'all. Catch y'all next one.